what is the quantum biology of light? Let's get started. Now, I dove into this in the first video of this series, and in this video, we're going to be looking at how light impacts our body and how it is a fundamental pillar of how I'm defining quantum biology and quantum biological health. So let's get started. Now, in 2017, three researchers were given the Nobel Prize for their work on chronobiology. Jeffrey Hall, Michael Rosebash, and Michael Young were these researchers who first discovered these circadian genes that each one of our cells, almost every single cell in our body, contains these circadian genes. And what they discovered and many others have been researching since is how light impacts our biology. And it is foundational. It is impacting almost every single organ system and biological function in the body from our neurology, our neurological function, how our brain works, our cardiovascular system, and how our heart works, our respiratory system, our digestive system, how our immune system functions, how our hormonal state is set up, how our inflammatory state is balanced or in a state of imbalance. The light in our environment plays a foundational role in our health. Those quanta of light, those photons, play a vital role in how our body functions. And of course it does. We have evolved over millennia on this earth with the rising and setting of the sun as our primordial influence. For millennia, we have been aligned with this rhythm and that spectrum of the rising and setting of the sun that happens red light, infrared light, UVA, UVB, all these different spectrums, not to mention the colors that are there, that visible spectrum of blue, green, yellow, orange, and red, and how these impact our biology. Now, this goes hand in hand with what research is being done on light therapies, especially in that red and infrared spectrum, but others as well. We can see quite clearly that this impacts our pain, our inflammatory state, our mitochondrial function, our proteins in the body. For example, in our mitochondrial electron transport chain, that chain of four proteins and that fifth protein of the ATP synthase that turns in response to the protons in that inner mitochondrial membrane space and that flow of electrons down that chain, down pulling that proton to produce that final molecule of ATP, the energy source of our body. Now, Douglas Wallace has done amazing research showing that almost all of our chronic diseases can be associated with a dip in mitochondrial function, making mitochondrial ATP production and health and function overall paramount for our health. The light in our environment is so important. And there are so many things in our body that react to it, from melanin, from opsins, from chromophores in our body, like in the electron transport chain of the mitochondria. There are actual parts of those proteins that are able to capture that light information and use it to excite the complex and create more efficiency in our mitochondria. And we haven't even talked about how our cells communicate via our own biophoton emission, our own light emission, and communicate in the infrared spectrum as well. Now, when we're talking about quantum biology for health, many people want to relegate it to the realm of quantum computing or the realm of quantum physics. Or they say that the research that has been done in quantum biology with enzymes, with uh, olfaction, our sense of smell, with uh, magnoreception and our ability to sense magnetic fields, 
uh, the same theory that goes for how birds make long migratory trips, that this is still in its infancy and it can't be used for medicine. I would argue that we have a wealth of research and evidence showing how light impacts our biology. And we should be using that information to support our health, to support our clients and our patients in achieving that vitality and that state of health that we all deserve. If you like this content, make sure that you're subscribing for the next video all about water. Thank you so much for joining me.